This is Radio TV Phono Nut, and we have an Iowa 5 tube Japanese built AM radio, probably from about, from about 1963, I'd say. I've seen this same radio under the Olsen brand name, which Olsen was an electronics uh, supplier, much like uh, Lafayette and Allied Radio. And I think these radios were also offered in kit form. This radio plays, but I'm going to do a little preventative maintenance on it to make sure it help make sure it doesn't blow up on me and maybe play a little better. With Colin Cowherd starts. We authorize the secretary to waive or modify any title for provision in emergencies to provide. And there are a lot of other things around the house he's been trying to get done first. As far as one of these little Japanese radios, it seems to do pretty good. Here's the inside. Now, most of these little Japanese radios were built on a metal hand wire chassis. This one's on a printed circuit board. And as you can see, it has sev several uh, waxy capacitors in there. Uh, this one here, I believe, is the plate bypass cap for the audio output tube. Those have been known to short. And I think this one under here is the plate to grid coupling cap for the audio output tube. I need to replace that one. And then I think we have one right here that's probably the AC line bypass cap. Those are known to explode. And I want to change that. And then that'll make this radio a, a bit safer than it was, than it is right now. And here's the plate to grid coupling cap for the output tube. It's a 0 0.01 microfarad. All right, let's see how it tests. Yeah, that don't look too good. What about leakage? Yep, yeah, that's pretty leaky. It 50 volts. 200 volts, yeah, that capacitor is very leaky. So it definitely needed to go. And there's the new one in place, uh, insulated with heat shrink tubing. Now, the result of this capacitor becoming leaky, like I've mentioned before in previous videos, is it allows DC voltage to pass from the plate of the first audio tube to the control grid of the audio output tube which causes the tube to conduct full on, which means it draws excessive amount of current. And the end result could be uh, burnout of the audio output transformer as well as uh, destruction of the tube itself. So now that this capacitor is replaced, we shouldn't have to worry about that. Right, we have the plate bypass cap replaced and we have the uh, plate to grid audio coupling cap replaced and we have the AC line bypass cap replaced. I think it sounds a little better now. Washington saves over 20 As you can tell, still not very much variety on the uh, AM band around here. All right, all the paper capacitors are replaced. Let it warm up here. Jesus. The to keep their stars healthy. Baseball now with the And it uh, actually plays pretty good. Your time is valuable, and when you and pray and seek my face and turn from I learned about PhD weight loss and nutrition. Proud to be in a size medium shirt after All years right. of XL or good XXL. Deal. It's a it's a game changer. It changed as far as this electrolytic, I might just leave it. 
Uh, it's been my experience that these Japanese electrolytic capacitors in these radios generally hold up pretty good. I've ran into a few that were bad, but generally if they still work, they'll keep on working. But And I'm kind of running low on new electrolytics, so I'm probably not going to change any unless I just have to for the time being. And besides leaving this one in there, we'll give the... Uh, will give the cap changer fanatics reason to uh, poop in their diaper. So, yeah, I think I'll just leave that alone. All right, I'm about to slide it back together, and then this radio ought to be done. In this case, the paper capacitors are way more troublesome than the uh, electrolytic is. All right, here we are back together, and the dial alignment looks to be pretty close, as close as you can get it for... A uh, dial like this. Style to something more fashionable? Well, there's no time like the present to discover vision without limits. With a simple brilliance. There's 1390, which is overpowering on every radio I have. This is Hometown Good News Gospel Radio, WMER, Meridian, Mississippi. 93.1 FM, 13. Fox Sports, 99.7 and 14.50. Seconds count, and every hour, you're kept up to date with SR. See, their signal so hot, it just overloads the radio. USA News, I'm Richard Johnson. Fairness or standing? Those may be the top arguments in play in the attempt to block the White House from going through with its college loan debt relief plan. At today's Supreme Court hearing, Justice Neil Gorsuch explored why the loan forgiveness might be unfair. People who've paid their loans and people who are not eligible for loans in the first place and that a half a trillion dollars is being diverted to one group of favored persons over others. U.S. Solicitor General Elizabeth Prelonger made two arguments. First, the COVID relief bill known as the HEROES Act makes the loan relief legal. Two secretaries across two administrations invoked the HEROES Act to suspend interest and payment obligations for all Americans with federally held loans. Freelogger also said the six Republican-controlled states trying to stop the loan forgiveness have no standing because those states are not harmed by the action. President Biden's in Virginia talking about the economy. He's heading to Selma, Alabama this weekend to mark the 50th oh, I'm anniversary sure it's of real the good attacks on civil rights demonstrators to hear him known tell as it. Bloody Sunday. But Ohio Congressman Bill Johnson says there's another trip the president should be taking. Mr. President, it's past time for you to make the short trip to East Palestine. And exactly. show up for 5,000 Americans who call that little small Appalachian village home. And get Johnson your head out of Zelensky's uh, rear end. Of that huge train wreck and chemical leak nearly a month ago. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot is facing an uphill battle to keep her job. The last polls before today's election day shows her trailing one of her eight challengers. If no candidate wins 50% in today's vote in Chicago, the top two will face off in April. A new report says 60% of us in the USA say we're living paycheck to paycheck. But that's slightly fewer people than said so in Lending Club survey a year ago. This is USA News. Celebrating living legends of black history brought to you by Charmin. Back in a moment. We all gotta go, right? But why not enjoy the go with Charmin? You need something so Well, they got you with Charmin Super Mega Rolls. Alright, I think that's enough. Well... I realize there wasn't really much to this one, just some preventative maintenance more than anything else, but it's back working a little bit better, and we should be able to safely use it now without something blowing up. Alright, there you go. Hope you got something out of it, and uh, uh, more to come later.